left the White House early this morning with a send-off at Andrews Air Force Base. He was already at his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Florida. By the time President Biden was sworn in, he is the first president in modern history to skip his predecessor's inauguration. He hinted that he will return, but didn't get into any specifics. Trump did take part in one tradition. He left a note in the Oval Office. President Biden said it was very generous, but declined to give details, saying it was a private letter. And Trump spent his last few hours in office issuing more than 100 pardons and commutations. WGN's Gaynor Hall has that. Most of the list included people who were serving long sentences for fairly low-level offenses. So, have a good life. We will see you soon. Thank you. Now, former President Donald Trump leaving the White House this morning for Florida. Just hours before the transfer of power, he granted clemency to more than 140 people. At 11 o'clock last night, I got a call from Ivanka Trump. <laughs> And her exact words were, the president has commuted your sentence. Craig Cecil says he was relieved. The Lombard man who owned a semi-truck repair business was arrested in 2002, charged with conspiracy to distribute marijuana. And the way the guidelines worked at the time, the U.S. sentencing guidelines, um, I was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Trump's last-minute clemency list also included several well-known names. He preemptively pardoned his former strategist, Steve Bannon, who was charged with defrauding donors to Trump's border wall, and rapper Lil Wayne, who pleaded guilty to gun charges. Casey Erlacher, the mayor of suburban Matawa, was one of 10 people charged last year in connection with an illegal sports gambling operation, but he was the only one in the case pardoned. His brother, retired Hall of Fame Bears linebacker Brian Erlacher, has donated thousands to the Trump campaign and visited the White House in March in an Instagram post calling it a once-in-a-lifetime experience getting to hang out with President Trump in the Oval Office office. In a statement today, Casey Erlacher's attorney said, quote, we are very thankful that out of all of the thousands of petitions for pardon submitted to the president that he read and appreciated all of the outstanding qualities and decency that Casey possesses and saw fit to grant him a pardon. I think our laws need some change. Cecil had been on home confinement since June due to COVID precautions. Now that he's free, he says he'll keep fighting to right the wrongs of the war on drugs. Well, like many people, I find that President Trump did a whole lot of things that, to me, are indefensible. But in terms of criminal justice, you know, I'm happy with uh, the results of during his administration. And after he landed in Florida as his final act, Trump pardoned the ex-husband of Fox News Channel host Janine Pirro.